Hello, hello. Good evening. Hmm. There we go. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. How about you? How about you? Today is October 11th. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Oh, but Johnny stood last time. We need Heidi Eugenia to stay for another five, ten minutes. Hey, what's up, Fernando? Guys, can you hear me? One, two, one, two, one, two. Hi. What's up? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. I do. Awesome. Good. So what is it today? Let's do the math here. One, two. Seventh days or eighth day. So, how was your weekend? Uh, for me, fine. Well, just fine. Just fine. I I I I couldn't I could rest in and I went to the cinema. Oh, really? Yes. What did you watch? Uh, Venom. Venom? Yes. Have you seen or did you see um, uh, Fast and Furious 10, he said? No, I, I didn't. I The last Fast and Furious that I saw was uh, the 7, I, I think. Oh, really? Yes. Good the Shaw Shaw versus I can't remember the Rock versus the other guy, right? Yes, Jason Statham. <laughs> that guy's crazy, man. The transport the transportator. The transporter. The transporter. Uh, yes. The yep. Transport. That is correct. Hey, I think last class on Friday, we were about to talk about a national product, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Analyze a national product and price. We're going to do that again today, but in a different way. Let's see. I'm going to cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So go ahead, guys. Start the class. You have five minutes. To talk to someone how their weekend was. You can make any questions. Remember, you make this part of the class. You're free to do what you want to do. Come on. I saw Alan somewhere. Hey, Alan. Good evening. Erwin, what's up? Hello, good evening. Talk to Erwin. Was penalty or not? <laughs> really? It wasn't. It wasn't a penalty. I don't know. I didn't see the match. What happened? The referee uh, gift a, pen a penalty to Costa Rica. He gifted a penalty to Costa Rica. Hmm. The okay. referee uh, is uh, on Hondureño, como se dice? He's, He's from Honduras. He's from Honduras. He's Honduran, really? Yes. And but we were playing against Costa Rica. I don't get it. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, we 
We lost two to one. Two to one. Really? So you think, or people think that there was a conflict of interest? Mm. <laughs> Without okay. that penalty, maybe we can uh, tie. We could have, that. we could have it made it. We could have made it to um, the World Cup. No, on we uh, uh, we have to to play more games for that. <laughs> but are we, we are we done? No, no, no. no not uh, yet. We're not out. Not yet. Okay. Can we still make it? Yes, but we have we need. Uh, luck and, <laughs> and we have to to win the the the, the match that I I can to to win. For example, when we have we play in in our housing in the in this country, we have to 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 win that that matches. Mm. Okay. That's odd, okay. William, if you can remember something about the game, I don't know if you were able I to record. <laughs> I didn't see it. You didn't see it? Wait, when was the, the match, on Sunday? Yesterday, yes. Yesterday, right? Oh, okay, yeah. What, what was there on Friday? Because William wasn't here on Friday, right? <laughs> Fernando was saying that you, oh, he's not here. He's not here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Caroline wasn't here too on Friday. Uh oh. What did you do on Friday, Caroline? On Friday? Yeah. Of course. You were here? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, raise your hand, raise your hand. I'm so sorry. Who wasn't here? M many of you didn't make it on, on Friday. I don't remember. Irene, were you here, Irene? Yeah. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Were you here on Friday, Irene? That's Friday. Were you in the class? Okay. I was talking about. Was talking about. She was. <laughs> okay. Uh, about um four piece and about uh, we was. We were gamer about some play, about different vocabulary, customer solution and customer code, convenience, communication. The four and, C's of the four P's. Yes. Yes, it's true. You and got we, it. Yes, and we were an activities. We choose a um, company a national company for talk about in small groups about these companies. Um, for example, about quality and design and different products about this national company. Good, okay, excellent. It's true, that's what we did. But did we... Come on, come to the front. Did we come to the front and did the expositions? No, no. No, right. We didn't finish homework. that. Homework. Yes. Yeah, that was that was that was your homework to come to the front today. We actually played. I do remember that. We played your party. Remember? Yes, I remember it. <laughs> Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, so in today's class, class, we're going to move on 
but we're going to talk about pricing in this class in a minute. First, I'm going to do the attendance. If you don't mind, uh, we have to check the attendance first as usual. And today is Monday, October 11th. Okay, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Hey, good. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. This is not here again. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Jose Antonio is not here. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Yeah. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Rita is not here today. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. Yep. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Good. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Driving, be careful. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Excellent. Okay, so we're only missing three classmates. Heidi, Jose Antonio. Present teacher. Present teacher. Is it present here? Oh my God, Heidi, hey. Hey. <laughs> present. Great, hey. Jose Antonio Cubillas. Present teacher. Hey, there, where are you? I can, oh, I see you. Okay, good. You're next to me, actually. Okay. Uh, and Sandra Elizabeth. She's not here, right? Yeah, we're missing Sandra tonight. No. Okay. Okay, good. So just one classmate is not here. Oh my God, that's awesome. We're 26. Woo! Great. Okay, guys, let's start your class. Um, Last thing you remember, yep, as Irene was saying, thank you, Irene, for the refresher. We were talking about your book, actually. Let me just display this thing again. Let's see. Yeah, we were talking about the four C's of the four P's. Again, if you heard Irene, what are the four C's of the four P's? Okay, about a four C's um, customer solution is the it's like a products. Customer cost like not prices, convenience like place, and communication like promotion. Very good. Thank you, Rene. I was expecting someone else to explain your explanation, <laughs> but it's okay, don't worry. Okay. What about this? You remember what goes on product? What goes on product? The merchandise or service offered by the company to the oh, customer. Good, good. Okay, so among these words, which one re relates to product? Packaging. 
Packaging. Packaging. Yes. Brand name. Brand name. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. Transporting. Transporting. Transportation. Transportation. What do you What do you think, guys? Transportation on product. No, mm. it's in place. That goes in place. Okay, and let's continue with product. Yeah. What else goes on product? Design. 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 Okay. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, that's it, right? Okay. What's go? What goes on price? Payment plans. Payment plans. Discount. Discount. Okay. Discounts. Okay. Discounts. And credit terms. Credit terms. Credit terms, okay. Is that it? Yes, it. Yes. That's it. Okay. Let's go with place. Retail location. Retail location, okay. Transportation. 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 Personal selling. Personal. Why personal selling? Because they go around selling the product? Yes, I think that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. Or you can sell in the in a web page. Okay. That's it? Yes. And finally, what goes on promotion? Public relations. Public relations. Advertising. 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 <laughs> and discount. That's it. Discounts too? Discount, yeah. yeah. Discount goes on price and promotion. Yes, I agree yes. with that. I do agree with that, yes. Okay. Mm, is that it? Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, which is the difference between payment plans and credit terms? Can somebody explain that? What is the difference between payment plans and credit terms? And by the way, payment plans, does that affect, does that affect promotions too? Could be. Could be, right? Because I can make a promotion where... For example, yes. for example, I just bought I just bought a, a new guitar. Just bought a new guitar. It's an acoustic guitar, and I pay. I'm gonna pay it in twelve payments with zero interest with a credit card. Is that a promotion or is that a payment plan? I think it's a promotion. I, I think it's a payment, payment, payment plan because that is a benefit from, from a credit card. Okay, it's a payment plan. Okay, it is a is it a credit terms too? No. Yes. I, I think the credit terms is about if it is uh, uh, contado credit credit or. Okay, that's the form of payment. That's the form of payment. If you're paying cash or or if you're paying with a credit card or in credit, credit terms is just specifically the payment method that you're gonna use, uh, how you're going to pay for it, okay? And yeah, time, time bound, you know, it's time bound. How long is it gonna take for you to pay for it? Payment plans is very related to it. Payment plans is just um, options to pay for the product. If you want to pay monthly or right up front, if you have a, a third party agreement. And what I have, what I got was a third party agreement. So it was, it was a payment plan with a credit card company. Okay, but it's a promotion too. And if you think about it, they are co-branding, remember? Co-branding, because you can only pay 12 for 12 months with no interest with 
and a specific credit card or specific credit cards. So it's crazy. I mean, every all of this is involved in payment plans. Credit terms are very similar. Credit terms. Okay, let me give you an example and you tell me if this is a credit term or if it is part of the payment plans. No refunds. There's no refund available. What is that? No hay reembolso, no refund. Credit terms. It's a credit term, right? These are credit terms. No refund available. Give me another example. <laughs> okay, no foreign currency accepted. No foreign currency accepted. Do you understand that? Solo colones. Yeah, just colones, yeah. just dollars. No chivo wallet. Okay, what is that? Payment plans or credit terms? Payment plans. Maybe. Payment plans. Credit okay. Terms. That no, that's credit terms. Very good. Thank you. Credit terms, no foreign currency accepted, just US dollars. Okay. Um, one, I, I've never seen this before. One payment every three months. Okay. One payment every three months. And that's going to be for two years. You have to pay every three months the same payment. What is that? Payment plans. That's a payment plan, right? Okay. Any other idea? No? Okay. So that's the difference. Payment plan is more attached to the time. It's more bound to the time, how you're going to pay for that with the company itself, let's say, or they can use a third party, a, not a bank. You can pay through such bank. That could be a credit term as well. They may not accept some banks. They may not accept some forms of payment. These are part of the credit terms. Okay, good. Questions? Okay. No, no questions? Okay. No. Okay, good. So regarding the price, that's what we're going to talk about today. Oh, come on now. No, oh, oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so we move to the next step. And yes, as, as Irene was saying, we had the four Ps, uh, now the four Cs, which are tools of the four Cs, right? Customer solutions, customer cost, convenience, and communication. Don't forget that. It's very important, okay? Communication is for the customer to be aware of what promotions you have available, how they can buy your product and where. Okay, I cannot play that video. Okay, so analyze the components of the new, of the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service. That's what we are going to do today. And the first question, the opening question today is, why is pricing important? Okay, so price strategies, price strategies, that sounds um, odd, right? It sounds weird. There are price strategies. What, do you, what comes to your mind when you hear price strategy? What is a price strategy? We already said what is a price, right? What is price? What's the definition of price? Luis Ernesto, what do you understand by price in your own words? In price is the amount of money you pay for something you bought. Right. Just, just, just that. Yeah, that's right. The final amount of money that as a consumer you have to pay for a product. 
Okay, so yeah. why could there be a strategy? What do you think? Suleyma, what do you think? Why is there a strategy regarding the price? Hmm. Um, first, you have to know the market for your product. Hmm. Uh, then you have to, um, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, establish a price for your product to compete with the other brands? Where? Where? In Very good. This perfect. Which market? You just said it. It was amazing. Uh -huh. uh, to, to compete in which market? <laughs> think, think, think. You got it. You got it. So you said the price. You said the price. Okay. Uh -huh. To compete on the market, you said. Which market? And that is that, that is the key of this class. Um, in the local market? The local market? But first you said something. You have to know your market. So I believe uh, I, I'm just going to tie it up, tie it up together what you just said. So you get to know your market. Okay. You remember the first classes on the previous module? You were talking about a niche of market, right? Define the niche of market. So you're, but among this niche of market, for example, if, can you mention a niche of market? One niche of market. One niche of market in El Salvador, in San Salvador. Everybody. Tiendona. La tiendona. La tiendona. Oh, no, but that, that's a mercado. I mean, <laughs> but, what is a niche? What is a niche of market? Is that your question, Irene? Yes, it can be yours. For example, it's a niche of market. Only students. Only, um, uh, you have some echo. Only students. Students, it can Only be a sample for niche of market. Good, good. Students could be a niche of market. What else? Teenagers. 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 Okay, continue. Low cost or low, low price? Mm, nope. Young people. Old people. Old people. The, the older the older person. Yeah. The other what do you mean? It could be young people. Young people, teenagers. We said students, old people. Okay. But you are segmenting the market on age. Can we can we just segment the market on age? Or can we use something else? Like men. You said you buy a, the a gender art sector. Gender sector. Good. Other word for sector zone. To be a geographical or ethnical. All right. Geographical, ethnical, age, whatever. You got it. That, that's your niche of market. Any of this. So but th there's a problem. And this is what uh, Haiti was trying to say, I think. Um, there are competitors already in that market, right? Selling your product, selling a similar product, maybe. So you have competitors. So if you do have competitors, now, Haiti, I mean, Suleyma uh, was following the idea of getting to know your niche of market, and that's the word, the missing word. Getting to know your niche of market to determine the price is an strategy. And strategy, as we said before, 
I think Isela would say, if you sell pupusas in Soyapango, what do you base your price on? Is it the quality? Is it going to be the delivery service, distribution channels, or just the price? You just want to sell them cheap. The quality. The quality? Be the one. Okay. Yes, because if something is good, you will pay for it. Mm -hmm. So quality versus price. Uh, people that doesn't have enough money, maybe, in this place. Okay. And then is when you start something called profiling. You start profiling, and that's all of this is part of the, um, how do you call it? <clears throat> the feasibility study. This is a feasibility study that you perform a long time ago. Before you started manufacturing your product, you started thinking about your product. When you designed your product, the first thing you determined was the niche of market. Understanding your niche of market will get you there, will make you understand what you can do and what you cannot do. And in this case, specifically in pricing, um, this will determine understanding your niche of market, the people that you are gonna buy, your customers, your potential customers, understanding their way of living, how they live in a daily basis, how much money they make or they, they actually, because we, we do this, right? If you do a cash flow in your house, if you do a, your budget every month, most likely you say, okay, we have to save $10 every week for Friday of Pupusas, right? Pupusas Friday, 10 bucks, not more, 20 maybe for pizza if we want, right? That's the way we work, don't we? Do we? Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. do. So if you get to know your niche of market and you know that everybody in that Colonia, that neighborhood in Soyapango, everybody does the same thing. You know, they have this way of buying pupusas every Friday. Okay, so, and where do they buy the pupusas? How much are they willing to pay for their pupusas? How did you find this information? You remember? You conduct service. You remember the service to get to know your customers a long time ago? That's very useful right now that you're going to set the price. So how do you set the price? How to price your product? Based on? Um, the service, um, the service, opinion, um, mm -hmm. you know. right, the opinion, the niche of market, right? But so one of the questions of the survey long time ago was, how much money will you be willing to pay for this product? Now, a strategy pricing strategy and listen to this when you conduct a survey the questions go oriented like 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 a falling like a waterfall a waterfall okay first questions are do you like pupusas which ones are your favorite do you think that the quality of chicharron is important in pupusas do you think that the quality of frijoles, beans, is important in pupusas? The quality of the cheese. Which ones are your favorite? Corn or rice? Pupusas. <laughs> right? So everything goes like a waterfall because at the end, you're going to trigger something in your um, potential customer. It's going to go like, man, this guy is going to sell pupusas with quality with quality, he wants to sell pupusas with quality. So would you pay a dollar for a pupusa? Would you pay 75 cents for a quality pupusa? And- Yo, si no lo cuenta. Yo, si no lo cuenta. Okay, 
But if if the pupusas are better, as you're saying, just I mean, if pupusas are better than Odoquilta pupusas in Soyapango, will you pay 75 cents, 50 cents? So I think that that's very important, right? To get to know your niche of market. Now, a second factor that you cannot lose uh, out of sight, you know, you cannot miss this, this important factor, your cost, your yeah. cost. And there is where you have to think. If everybody in Soyapango is selling pupusas for 25 cents and your cost of production is 20 cents and you want to make double, right? Food, food services, if you are not making double, then your cost, that doesn't work. That simply doesn't work. Eventually you will collapse, you know, you will go on bankruptcy. But think about it. So that's just the intro. Think about all these factors that will match on pricing. So why is pricing important? Okay, I think I gave you the idea, right? So pricing is important because, Erwin. Erwin, no, okay. Uh, uh, Jose Alberto, why is pricing important? Because uh, if you want to sell the product, uh, you need to give uh, this a uh, price that is attractive for the customers. Okay, a question for everybody. You heard, you heard what your classmate said, right? It's important um, a price that is accessible for customers. Yeah. Okay, what way of thinking is that? Is he thinking about, as I, I mean, is he thinking from the perspective of a customer or the perspective of um, a company owner, a business owner? Customer. Customer, from the customer's point of view, yeah. price, price is important. Okay, can somebody give me the company's point of view? Uh, you need to get profits. You need to make it may be It may be double the cost of the product. Hmm. And, uh, I think it's important to uh, know uh, the price of the competitors uh, to compete with them. To compete with them. Mm -hmm. Totally. So we're not talking about an emerging market, remember? On market saturation, we might be on a market saturated market by this product, but can we yeah. compete? Yes, we can compete. We can compete. Of course, yeah. we can be better than the competitors. So, what should you consider I think, when I think the that you don't have to overvalue your product too? Mm -hmm. All of that. I want to hear you talking about that. Why is pricing important? What should you consider when setting the price of a product? Okay, get into this conversation with your classmates. Don't stay quiet. Give your ideas, guys. Si no sabes cómo decir algo a este punto, pregúntale a tus compañeros, okay? You have a lot of classmates to speak a lot. So let's take advantage of that. Be participative. Let's go. You only have two small questions. Let's go. Johnny Werner Alexander, let's go.
Okay. We respond the we answer sorry uh, the two questions, no? Why is price important? I think it's important because we are a poor poor people and the customer always are looking for a low prices because we don't have enough money sometimes and sometimes we are looking for sale money and, and for this reason I think it's important the price for me it's important in my case uh, because um, I can know how much I will win with my product. It, I think it, in my mind is um, important because I think, I know, sorry, uh, which one I, uh, win. Yes, you, because you you have a business. Yes, in, in your business. <laughs> I have a you business. Are, you are talking about owner and by uh -huh. talking about uh, customer, right? Yes, in, in my, my in mind my... is the business because I have a, a, a business. <laughs> okay, and about in my in my. In my personal, in my la, in my side about customer, um, always I'm looking for a low, a low prices because I love say money. And uh, for example, when I'm looking for for buy clothes or shoes, always I'm I'm looking for promotion. And um, about uh, I. I prefer to use credit card because I have some benefit with credit cards. I say I can save more, more money using or paying with credit cards. It's useful tool for buy, buy and, and save money. Yes, tasa cero. I don't know how to say English, tasa cero. Zero interest. Zero interest, yes. Zero interest. Mm -hmm. And you, and you, Josue? Mm, but I think it will like uh, Irene because sometimes I I looking for the good prices, but I think for uh, sellers or companies, uh, the pricing is important because uh, they need to they need to know about the cost to sell that the kind of product um, uh, they need to know about uh, the benefits uh, and put a price uh, could be uh, competitive with the competitors for the reason I think uh, they if they want to have a Star products, they need to know the market and the prices, uh, the product of that competitor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in your experience, no bad spends in your company. The cost is, it will be the less cost. For example, the now, if you want to to take the container from China is so expensive at moment, yeah? But the cost is the similar, but the price you will choose for the target, your segment, your marketing segments, like the pollo or for your company. For example, Siman, they have a Siman Almacenes and Prima Uber. it's a difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. No question about this, but all the time you have to, to, to be a good cost all the time because the company wants to win the money, okay? This is the, yes. the first in the company. This is the first, but the price you can you can use it, the difference for the target, um, but if you have a bad cost, if you, if you don't have a technology, if you don't have a software, if you have a bad personal, bad employer, 
the logical, you have a, the cost is so expensive. Yeah? Yeah, this is true. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Jose Antonio? Yes. Mm, 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 it's very import, important. Mm. Mm, I I know if mm, you can buy or have the solvent solvency to be able to buy for product and <coughs> different product and you need buy and in and the difference mm, market mm. Mm -hmm. and what should you consider when setting the price of the product <laughs> I think uh, all the least these three factors should be considered. Considered um, a total cost of, of the product, the price of the competition, and uh, um, what the entrepreneur what to earn the a profit. Uh -huh. okay. For me, it's a three factor. You should be considered. Those are in the price. Yeah. Okay. Erwin? I am here, thank you. Okay, what, you should, what should you consider when setting the price of the product? It is so important. So important. The price you will, uh, the, the factory, it's a factor for the how to sell the product. If you have to pay an, an employee, you have to consider also the the location, maybe um, because sometimes you have to, you have to pay for for a specific place um, to sell a product or, or for the production floor. And let me check where else. Um, it depends on the, of the, um, for the product. You also have to think in the, in the marketing because sometimes you have to, to spend, you have to you have to spend money uh, on marketing. So after this, I think that you can you can set the the correct price of of your product. Thinking about all the things that maybe you are going to to invert, invert, yeah, invert to make it possible, I think. Okay. Yeah, summarizing in phrases about the cost, such as... In Antiguo Puscatlan, pay $125 for one pupusa. Yeah, and is, is in Soyapango, you pay 25 cents for a pupusa, for one pupusa. For me, the most important is not price in this case, in pupusa, depend <laughs> of the quality, the flavor, I don't know. I prefer <laughs> pay one dollar, I prefer pay one dollar for a Nice pupusa, delicious pupusa that uh, pupusas, but <laughs> I don't know. But 
it's uh, it's a rule to set a percentage of your profit uh, based in the uh, in your cost in your fixed and variable cost, or you can set the price as you want. What do you think? Well, for me, is 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 very important calculate very very good your price for example you have to consider uh the fixed cost the what is the price in your material for example and add all price for you get the the price of your product and you have to consider the price of competitors but you you have to think more your quality or your service. I don't know. This is. For example, if you are at the beginning of the pandemic situation and you have a, a warehouse full of face masks, you know the face masks, face mask, and you can sell it is like a five dollar each box per box. But Two dollars, when the pandemic, yeah. But yeah, when the, the pandemic, pandemic start. You are yeah. going to sell it in five dollars, or you are going to sell it like a twenty twenty five dollars. What do you think? You are thinking in your profit, right? Not in your yeah, of it's the a customer it's a, for benefit. Yeah, it's a pen of the moment. Man. <laughs> for example, when the pandemic the pandemic beginning is the price was very expensive. For example, you paid for one box fifty dollars. Yeah, and actually, you you pay two dollars for one box is because the pandemic uh, actually is is more commercial. It's I don't know to the head yeah. of the moment. And before, I don't know, it was different. Okay, what do you think, Alita? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, Adita. I feel no. too shy today. Uh, the two questions, sir. Yeah, give an opinion. Uh, what should what should you consider it when they set setting the price of the product? Uh, in my opinion, it depends the beneficial and the inversion or margin de ganancia que vamos That's a obtener. Right. The, Como teacher? The investment and the margin. Invest on the margin and the and um, the ciclo de vida del producto. The product life cycle. Product life cycle. Pero in my case is a sí, lo más importante. O sea, es lo que yo considero más importante para establecer un precio. That's very important. That's really important what you just said. Yes. For example, for the oh. for example, the use the mask uh, in the fields the pandemic. I the use the mask in the in my case in the hospital as the price in there one one mask. O sea, cinco, cinco días se usaba una misma mascarilla. Yes. For the, for the cost. Eh. O sea, por el elevado costo que estaban en ese tiempo. The high cost, yeah. Yes. Andrés, tell us, what do you uh, think? In El Salvador, there, there, there are much speculation in the market. So that's, that's the reason, for example, in the cost of the face mask, the last year, it was very expensive. And now only two or three dollars per box. Mm -hmm. It depends and, on the situation that you can set a price. In this country, it happens. Mucha gente se aprovecha de la situación. Many people take advantage of the situation. Yes. 
for example, if you heard, I don't know if good, um, pronounce it good, when you heard a product, you can get high the prices of that product you or get advantage. Increase the price. If you hoard, hoard, you said? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's well applied. If you saturate the market with your product. Same it's same. not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different. It's the, it's the, it, when you get all the product of one, for example, your whole grain, you get, you take all the whole grain and it's going to be uh, out of the market. It's going to be like, hey, I don't have it. And you get a lot of that product. Yeah, I got, I'm going to sell you, but I'm going to sell you the price of the real cost or the normal cost. Como acaparar. Acaparar, you yes. Sell it. Or... You can sell it in a high, in increase your price. Or you are going to be like, no, I'm going to sell at the normal price with a, I don't know, that that the cost uh, setting at the beginning of, of that uh, situation. What do you think? It's better to get advantage or be like, no, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a good boy. Um, I think if you think as a company, um, you, <laughs> you, you don't care. Of course. You don't care about it. But if you are a good um, a good business person, you will understand that there are rules, ethics to follow before you do that. And it's up to you, right? If you want to be hated afterwards or have a fierce market, you know, because in the end, if you let's say you, you end up you end up selling your product on top of your competitors, you're gonna kill some of your competitors, and that is not good for your business. If you start killing other companies, you know that sell similar products, that's um, unfaithful competition. But, say. By the way, by the way, you are focused in get a, a profit, or you are focused to get a, a good behavior, good behaviors in your in the market. And let me put it this way. What do you prefer? Selling for a good period of time, your product on a high price, you know, making good profit in a year, let's say, and then go on the decline. Or do you prefer to build loyal customers that will always buy your product under the same price, no matter what, you will only get a 30% on your earnings out of each product. Not the 50, but the 30. It's a good margin. 25 is a good margin. And you will always continuously have that income because it's a good product, because you don't raise your prices. In fact, you offer discounts on seasonal, you know. Nothing Nothing is forever. I prefer to sell it a high price. Without nothing is forever. Price. Nothing and is I'm forever. Okay, I can yeah. mention to you many products <laughs> that, that have been on the market for many years. I prefer that and get a lot of money and try to get another uh, entrepreneur with a new product. If you can get it in the first time, you can get it the second time. That there is a way I can't at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. You, if we'll you're see. focused in, in get profit, <laughs> no. And get profit. Yeah, you, you will, profit. I mean, if you have a good product, you will always have profit. The hey, margins. Take a look. Take a look of the cell phones. Everything's going to pass. Yeah, but you have to be like, uh, hey. So let's leave it in this. It depends on the product, <laughs> on the product line. Oh, the yeah. product line yeah, that you, point. you're participating on. And yeah, because if you compare cell phones with uh, English courses or if you compare cell phones with food, there's a huge discrepancy. Different. There's a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, good point. I agree with you in that point, yeah. Too. You see, we end up agreeing each other, each other. So let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Let's go. Okay, before continuing, man, this topic is really candela, right? <laughs> this topic is candela. How do you say that in English? This topic is hot. It's really hot. Okay, before moving on, I have to go with the attendance again. Let's do it really quick. Um, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present, wow. present. Thank you. Wake up. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Hey, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. And here yet, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alean Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Thank you, Carolina Ibet Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Isela yeah. Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thank you. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you. Okay, uh, before we start a debate in this class, I would like to point out some things. First of all, um, grammar. Always I looking for promotion. I am always looking for promotions. I am always looking for promotions. Uh, siempre recuerden cómo está estructurado cada tiempo gramatical que apliquen. ¿Cómo logro esto? Me borro esto de cometer errores gramaticales bien sencillos. Estudiar esa parte. ¿Qué es lo que tengo que estudiar acá? Always I looking for promotion. Y la right way, the right way is I am always looking for promotions. Número uno, estudiar el presente continuo. Número dos, los adverbios de frecuencia van antes del verbo. Okay? No importa si es con ING, si es pasado, el adverbio de frecuencia. Okay? I am always looking for promotions. Plurales. Okay. Good. Uh, four versus two. Y eso sí lo voy a atacar eh, ante todos. Let's do it together. Vamos a darle lógica a esto súper rápido que es un dolor de cabeza para hasta para estudiantes de um, avanzado. Really quick. Four versus two. Just to give you an example. Uh, give me a second. Uh, what does it take for? What does it take to? This is a question. Okay, so what does it take for? You need a noun or a verb noun. Do you know what is a verb noun? Somebody give me an example of a verb now. Okay, easier. ING, pues. 
<laughs> a verb in ing, okay? Adding ing to the verb makes it a noun, okay? Got it. Okay, what does it take to? The main verb, a bare verb, okay? So, following this structure, what am I saying? What does it take for you to love me? Okay. What does it take for you to love me? Give me more examples. Now, now, now. Come on, guys. What does it take for... Really? Mm. No me están entendiendo. Mm -mm. No? Okay. Estoy atacando no, la, no. la diferencia entre usar for y usar ah. to. ¿Qué necesitamos después de la preposición for? ¿Qué necesitamos después de la preposición? Mm. Después de for vas a ocupar un nombre o un verbo nombre, si lo querés llamar así, un verbo con ing. Ok. Después de la preposición to vas a ocupar, por lo general, es de manera bien general, ¿eh? vas a ocupar un verbo en su forma desnuda, su forma base, sin ing, sin pasado ni nada, un verbo en su forma base. So, following the example, the first example, what does it take for you to love me? What does it take for poverty? For loving me. Ah, what does it take for loving me? Yeah, ¿qué se requiere para amarme? ¿Qué se requiere para que tú me ames? ¿Qué se requiere para amarme? Okay. Good. What a figure, a figure. What does it take for Salvadorian poverty to finish, to be over? Okay. What does it take for Salvadorian poverty to be over? Communication. Okay. Give me more examples. We're using nouns. Being over. Salvadorian poverty being over. No, 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 no. Nouns, nouns. What does it take for 26, I'm sorry, no. What does it take for 25 students of intermediate, intermediate to speak? Did I make a mistake? Intermediate, right? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does it take for 25 students of intermediate to speak in class? So what's the meaning of what does it take? Creo que muchos están preguntando eso, por eso no hablan. What is the meaning of what does it take? Eh, ¿Qué se necesita? Excellent, Mr. Google, you got it. ¿Qué se necesita para que 27 alumnos de intermedio hablen en su clase? Ajá. Uh -huh. Speak it, speak, speak. <laughs> Give me more examples. More examples. What did you take for pandemic finish or the Finnish pandemic? What does it take for the pandemic to be over? Yes. Got it. Got it. More, more nouns, nouns. Acuérdense que los nombres son todo lo que no es acción. Come on. Irwin. Ivan. Elvin. Caroline. Suleyma. Heidi. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm just thinking about your names. Come on. What okay. does it take to be brave? Okay, so we're going with the second example. Okay, what does it take to be brave? What does it take to be brave? ¿Qué se necesita para ser valiente? Okay, what does it take to be successful? What does it take to be successful? What does it take to speak English? Mm -hmm. 
Wendy, give me an example. Come on, just replay. What does it take? Uh huh. Yoni? What does it take to win the game? To win the game. What does it take? What does it take to win the game? ¿Qué se necesita para ganar el juego? ¿Qué se necesita para ser exitoso? ¿Qué se necesita para ser valiente? Ok. Are we clear with these examples? Yes, teacher. Sí. Entonces, después de tú, un verbo en su forma base, después de four nombres, ing, ok? ing. Really quick. Let me send you this. Te voy a enviar esto ahorita. So what's up, as usual. Mi segunda forma de abordar esto. Purpose. Segundo uso más común del 4EL2. Okay. 4 versus 2. Now let's go with purpose. Is this right? No. Purpose. I think it's me equivoco. Purpose. Can you check Google, please? Okay. Mr. Google. Thank you, Fernando. I really appreciate it. Okay, so purpose. I am going to the store. That is right. That's right. Thank you very much. I'm going to the store for food. I'm going to the store to buy, to buy food. What? What? I'm going to the store to buy food for food. Can you make another example? I am going to the school mm -hmm. for learning, mm. for learning. <laughs> there you go. You got it. There you go. That's what I'm expecting. I'm going to school for learning. Okay. Got it, Justin. I'm going to school for learning. I'm going to school to learn. You have both options. I'm going to work for money. <laughs> for money. Okay. <laughs> Work for money. Purpose, purpose. Okay, I'm going to the store to buy food. Uh huh. To verve. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to the cinema to watch movie. Correct, you got it. Now we cannot only use future, right? To this is not future. This is let me see. I'm going to the cinema. This is present continuous. To watch a movie. I'm going to the cinema to watch a movie. To watch. What's the purpose of going to the cinema? To watch a movie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I love you to be a better person. Come on, girls, I didn't hear you. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be uh, correct if you said, I'd love you to be a better person. No, you can sounds strange. That. It sounds strange to see. I, I love, love you. you te, te amo para ser una de mejor persona. Pero si le doy el sentido de posibilidad, I love you to be a better person. Te amaría para ser una mejor persona. Pero si ya lo estoy haciendo. Me encantaría que fueras una mejor persona. I love oh, you to be no. a No, ah, le dimos otro sentido. I love you to be a better person. Ajá, me encantaría. I love you 
to be a better person. Uy. Wow. Y you. Hey, sí, le dimos otro sentido de irresponsabilidad de nuestra parte. <ríe> Me encantaría que fueras una mejor persona. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Sí, pero también, ok. To be a better person. Pero ahí perdí el sentido de propósito. Ya no sería yo amaría, sino que quiero que se diga yo amo. No, yo te amo. ¿Por qué? O sea, ¿cuál es el propósito de que yo te ame? Para ser una mejor persona. ¿Ya? Para, para, para. Y ese es el punto de for, to, to be. For. Ok. You got it? I got it. Uh, 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 there's a song that, that's I hate myself for loving you. I hate Remember? myself for loving you. I hate myself for mm -hmm. loving you. Roxanne? No. no. Who, who was it? Ah, oh, this, this was this. It was a girls' band. Mm -hmm. it was a girls' band. Oh my God! No, wait, isn't it? Jan What? What? Janet Joplin and the Jets. Janet Joplin. Janet Joplin and the Jets. Thank you. Wow. Got yeah. it. Thank you. It's amazing. You see, knowing about music is important too. You have to. It's your brain, guys. It's your brain. It always brings back memories of when you heard a song or something. Okay. Next point. Uh, I heard you saying the company want to do this. Remember, third person singular, simple present. She wants, it wants, um, she runs, he learns. Always third person. Singular, affirmative sentences. You add the S, the e I, E, S, the verb. Got it? Got it. Okay. If you don't have technology, talking about companies, if you don't have technology, you cannot add an article. If you don't have a technology, you cannot compete. Be careful with the article uh, at this point. Now, Let's continue talking about the topics. What do you need um, to set the price? So let's start a little debate here. What's the idea? Let me get the idea again. So why is pricing important? What should you consider when setting the price of product? Okay, some of us were thinking about selling and getting gaining money getting a lot of money from our sales okay versus remaining on the market so how do we do this i want to hear your opinions i'm just going to open a debate if you are in favor of getting a lot of money give your opinion based on that okay based on earning a lot of money versus having business continuation. Who wants to live forever? Hi, Ivan. Who wants to live forever? No son de mi época, si no vieron esa serie, come on. Queen. Queen, yeah, that's Queen, but what's the series? I don't know. You have a friend who always gets drunk, gets really drunk, and he never mm -hmm. dies. Islander. Islander. <laughs> the princess of the universe. Yes, you got it. There's always a drunk guy, right? Hey, he, here comes Islander. <laughs> okay, so if you're in favor of living forever in the market, give me your opinions. What do you prefer? Living forever on the market? Is that possible? Or... Do you prefer just making a lot of money for a year? I prefer living forever. Living forever in the market. Mm -hmm. Living forever. Is that possible? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you see the Coca-Cola? <gasps> oh my God, Coca-Cola. Is that, that's a good example, but 
there's Beats. a secret. Do you think pricing on Coca Cola is what keep them alive? Man, this is so interesting. What no, is it? It's not only the price. So wait, the price has to do with the remnants in the market for so many years. How old is Coca Cola, by the way? Mr. Google. <laughs> right now, right now. I, I love when he starts looking <laughs> his computer. He gets so focused. This is what I mean. It can be, it can be. He's got it. Look there, at this. There are more 120 there years. Are more marketing is free, you know. I'm sorry, Heidi, again? How many? Their marketing is great. You can see a lot of um, publicity from Coca-Cola. Uh, every single kid knows how to say Coca-Cola. Even their first words are Coca-Cola. So we grow, we grow up drinking Coca-Cola. On the next chapter, we're going to talk about mm -hmm. marketing strategies and you're going to laugh about it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how Coca-Cola played with her feelings for so many years. Many years. Mm -hmm. 120 years, Ivan. Yeah. Holy mother of God. 1880? 92. Wait. 1880. 1882. Yes, 1882. Holy mother of God. 120 years. Wow. Okay. But is price a factor? Tell me what I don't think the price is a factor because there are other soda that, that are cheaper than, than uh, the flavor. Yeah. You do yeah, this? Do you do this when you are thinking about Coca-Cola? If you do this or this, let me tell you, you have an addiction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, oh, I need a Coke. Yes. It's the addiction. But hey, let's talk about the price. Do you remember what's the price of uh, three liters? No, 2.5 liters bottle. What is it? Everybody at the same time. What's the price in your local store? Two dollars. Two dollars? Man, that's yeah. expensive. Yeah. I paid yeah. 180. I paid 180. In the supermarkets, it's, it's cheap. It's yeah. cheaper in the supermarket? But in the stores in my yeah. neighborhood near my house is two dollars. <laughs> okay. Yeah, two dollars. Same here. Uh, say the name of your wait of your clerk on the local shop. One, two, three. Toñita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juanita. No, <laughs> they're always the same names. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do you know? Rosita. 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 <laughs> hey, going back there. How much is a little bottle? The personal. 50 cents. 50 cents? Yeah. yeah. 60. Now, 60 second cents. question. When, what, is the, what was the previous price? I do not remember. <laughs> you don't remember what 50 cents I, I don't remember I, I don't remember what was the previous price of that product man that's a perfect example you see Alan yes you can live forever with the same price but it's because you own the market just like Haiti said okay let's go the other way around remember a product that uh, remained on the market was really strong in the market and it's going down or it doesn't exist anymore. Come on, come on, think, think, think. Deli Pop. Deli Pop. Mm -hmm. Coca Nieve. Wait, but Deli Pop, you can still find it somewhere. I think, mm -hmm. and it's still a quarter. A quarter. Oopsie. What? 
Fruitsy. Fruitsy. Wait, you can still find fruitsy. You can still find fruitsy. Really? It's not that popular. I don't know if kids still drink that. I loved Deli Pop when I was a kid. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes. You do? Deli Pop. Did you used to open it from the bottom? <laughs> like, like biting it and man or put it on the fridge right put it on the fridge like ice cream mm -hmm. it was crazy i mean our childhood right okay but where is a product that really our poor child our remember poor... totos pizza uh, chocolate oh, oh oh there you go totos totos pizza that guy that guy was a god making pizzas did you try Toto's pizza? Yes. No? Yes? Yes. Man, we have to get together one day. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's everything. We, we match on everything. Toto's pizza was a boom. Pizza boom. It was a boom. But if you want to compare it's it to something, you can compare it a little bit with Pizza Nova. A little bit. But it was, it was still more toasty, you know, uh, mm -hmm. It was like toasted pizza. It was delicious. So what happened with this guy? He went down. Get the prices. Good promotions. But the quality was perfect. What killed a product? It's a happy. Okay. Now, competitors. 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 So this was my... My point, if you saturate your market with, I don't know, for a year, with a lot of good promotions, you want to remain on the market, guess what? Eventually, you're going to kill a lot of small businesses. Is that ethical? Will you do it just to remain on the market? Would you do it? Would you kill all of your competitors and have a monopoly? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yes. was like, yeah, yeah, of course, yes. Business. Yes. Business. business. Business is business. Is it unethical? No. 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 Wait, it's no. not unethical. Not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily. It's just competitive competition, right? Okay. Alan, you got a point. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, I was just. I already told you. Yeah, business, you, you, business. business is business. It's true. It's true. But hey, nah, there's no exception to that rule, right? Business is business. It's a jungle out there. Listen, it's a jungle out there. Okay, guys. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you become an interpreter, hey, becoming an interpreter is, is, uh, is a trend in El Salvador. Become an interpreter. Try to sell something. Okay. Just coming into the topic um, regarding pricing. Some, some of you were saying about the cost. You know, you have to consider about the cost in order to settle the price. I don't know. I don't know this and that. Okay. How is the cost composed? Can somebody tell me how do you come up with the cost of a product? Irwin, Elvin, engineers, administrators. How is the cost of a product composed? What are the components of a cost? Fixed Please. cost, variable cost. Wait, 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 ba variable, variable cost. Fixed cost. Fixed, fixed cost. Fixed cost. Okay. Is that it? Raw material. Raw material is part of, and this is my next point. So yes, the cost already includes fixed and variables costs. Okay. What do we have under fixed costs, Luis? It goes at like a rent, build, um, salaries. Okay. Wait, rent, bills, I think. Local, 
local bills like uh, energy farm mm. energy mm. are you sure it, it depends what uh, are what kind of business you have oh. or taxes if, if, uh, taxes if you if you have a business that consume a lot of energy is maybe the energy is going to be a uh, variable Close. Okay, defer, defer with me, defer with me. Um, I have, I thought that variable costs were light, water, depreciation, and fixed, fixed um, costs. You had workforce, mano de obra, packaging materials, salaries, rent, you know, those were fixed costs. The, the, the salary, there are uh, there are uh, variable costs and fixed costs because it is a uh, manufacturing direct is a uh, is a variable cost is a uh, indirect factoring is a uh, a fixed cost. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. For example, and, and when the manufacturer procure at the end of the year, they need more people working to increase the production. Totally. Yeah. What about the prices on raw material? The prices of raw material may vary, right? Especially, yeah. depending on demand. Especially, especially now with the transportation crisis that we have in the world. My God, I didn't think about it before. Bringing things from China is more expensive now. Man, those costs are going to be really high. Okay, so the point is the cost, your base cost already includes all of this. So don't think about it when setting the price. So there are three key elements to set the price. Okay? Three key elements that you have to consider to set the price. The first one is the value of your product, the value. And many people make the mistake of say, saying, you know what, my product is very valuable for me. I mean, the cost of this product is, is just tremendous and I have to make money out of it. I'm making, I'm, I'm, I have a cost of $15. I'm gonna sell it for $100, I don't care. Nobody's selling this product. I'm going to sell it for $100. Now, in El Salvador, <laughs> due to unethical or unprofessional practices like piracy, like piracy, if you have a great idea and you create a new product, what happens in a week or a month? There is a lot of copies. <laughs> there is a lot of copies. You're like, what the hell? Right? Everybody's copying my product and who's here to defend me? Chapulín Colorado is from Mexico, right? So no, nobody's here to defend your product. Man, it's crazy. It's so sad. But well, going back there, you have a cost of $15 you want to sell for $100. Is that a good way of setting the price? I don't think so. So not value. Your audience. Your audience, your niche of market, what we said before. Think about them. What do they prefer? Will they be able to pay for your product? Okay. And stage your business. Something that Ada said, and I love it, is what we were talking about. Do you want to remain on the market forever? It's very important because as customers, what do you prefer? An entrepreneur Someone who is a startup, is a startup business, is a startup business, or do you prefer someone with a stage business, you know, a, an organized business? Like, it's like me telling you, go by downtown, go by downtown, or go to La Curacao. A, a, a fridge, let's say a fridge. Where do you buy a fridge? Downtown or in La Curacao? Mm. It depends if you if you want warranty. Who's gonna give you warranty? 
someone who uh, just started in the business or someone who has been in the business for 20, 80 years? I don't know. Someone that you know. Someone you know has the experience, in this right? Case, Curacao. Uh -huh. Curacao, right? They're going to bug you up. They're going to bug you up with a warranty, right? Irwin has many years on the market. I'm sure that if I buy a battery from Irwin, it's going to bug me up. In, five, in two years, right, the, the warranty expired, but he determines, you know, man, this battery was bad since I sold it to you. So, hey, I'm going to take it. I'm going to give you a 20% discount for the next battery. For money, <laughs> right? I don't know. It's an idea, but you, you got my point, right? It's better buying from someone who's going to back you up. Somebody's going to back you up other than going back to them and saying, oh, I'm sorry. We ran out of business two years ago, you know. I'm so sorry. Has that happened to you? No? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Very important. Okay, so let's move on with your topic. Do you have questions about the three points that I gave you? Value, your niche of market, and an organized business to set the price. Think about it. These are very important keys. Okay, let's move on. Do you have a reading? Um, les envié este link y quiero aclarar algo. Esta presentación tiene ciertos videos que por motivos de copyright yo no puedo reproducir, como los que ya les había presentado antes, que son videos cortos. Este video es muy bonito. Eh, eh, tiene mucho vocabulario ese video. Les invito a que lo vean. Y pues eh, puedan ustedes expandir su vocabulario, ¿ok? Ese es el punto de ese video, pero no lo puedo reproducir por copyrights. Este, um, so, véanlo, ahí se los dejo. Por eso les compartí los dos links de las presentaciones de la unidad 1 y la unidad 2, que es en la que estamos ahorita, para que ustedes trabajen este volado y puedan ver eh, los videitos que están agregados en la presentación, ¿ok? But do it, guys, come on. Always try to study, ¿ok? So, two volunteers. Mi teacher. Mi Andrés. Mi who? Mi Andrés and mi who? Irene. Irene, okay. Miren, this is yo. <laughs> Then we have Ivan. Okay. Ready. One, two, three, action. The competition just re released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lost positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so what people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast and long to help us counter our comp competitors who release all of their products. Hmm. Thank you to help us counter our competitors release. I have heard before this word counter back. Counter back is como retaliation, como take it back. As counter our competitors release of their products. Okay, let's see, campaign, campaign. 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 Strategy. 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 Better, perfect strategy. There you go. And that's it. Good job, guys. Very good. Andres, I need you to intonate, to feel what you're reading. What do we do? Listen, the competition just released a clone of her headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose or lose. No, this is one. Lose positioning in the market. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We do. Okay, we could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. 
We can also try with an advertising campaign, campaign, renewing the look of, I'm sorry, renewing the look and packaging will take months. And an advertising campaign is too expensive. Uh, the best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors release of their products. Okay. Questions? Okay, let's practice and when we come back, eligió a Ivan y alguien más. Okay, when we come back, I'm going to choose Ivan and someone else to come to the front and two more of you. But let's practice, guys. Tonight, I'm staying with Haiti for 10 minutes, if you can. Please. Thank you. Okay, let's practice, guys. I'm going to make smaller groups so you can have the opportunity of practicing. Let's go. This page. I forgot to mention the page number. That's page 19. <laughs> Okay, I'm Antonio. Okay. Okay. The competition you release a clone uh, of our cell phones, they are attractive enough to make you lose position in the market. What what do we do? What do you we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful and not so that people can recognize them easily. We can also can try know? with an advertising com campaign. Try going to look and packing with take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help you to help to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Okay, change. Okay, we are three and going to share that. Okay, thank you. Tens. Post position. Positioning in the market, what do we do? I continue. Uh, we call renew the look. No, sorry. We call renew the look of, of our cell phones. Let's make them colorful now so that people can recognize them easily. Easy. We can also try with an Anders campaign. Okay. Uh, advertising with an advertising when uh, with an advertising or advertising, and we could renew. Okay, I'm going to continue renewing the look and. Uh, Packaging will take month, and advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to share to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help to help us control. I don't know. It's correct. Control. Control. I think. control our competitor relays of their product. Competitors. Okay. okay. Me? But we can switch again. Yeah, other than one. Okay, take competition, choose relays, I see a clone of all house phones, they are attractive. And all to make up a long position in the market. 
What do you do? You pilot of our headphone that made them look colorful enough so that people can recognize, 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 recognize them. Uh, recognize them. Uh, recognize them easily. It can also quite with an advertising. Campaign. Anyway, the lookup and packaging will take months, and an advertising camping is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. 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 Is es como como yes. solo como como strategy 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 you got it strategy there you go strategy very good thank you do We could renew the look of our elephants. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Okay. Renewing the look and packaging will take months. An advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. 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 It's fast strategy. enough to help us counter our competitor release of their problem. The competition just released a clown on our elephants. They are attracted enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? Okay. We could renew the look of our headphones that may have been colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. And um, ran, running win or running win. The look in packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily we can also try with an advertising campaign. Um, Renewing the look and packaging. And packaging will take more.
I think I recommended you a movie, right? Last weekend, last week. Did you watch the movie? Yes, teacher. Was Venom. It, uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. The bucket list. It's a good movie. You forgot to watch it? <laughs> okay, I hope you watched it. What did you like? What was your favorite part? The part that they are traveling in the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was amazing, right? Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, that movie is, is these two guys, um, Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson, I mean, together in the movie. That was, that's really good. There are so many great movies, actually, from... But nowadays, every movie is like a remake of previous movies, I think. They're running out of ideas, I believe. Oh, another one, Soul. If you haven't seen it, Soul, Soul, Disney Plus. Yes. Yes, yes the cartoon. Huh? Crazy. Very interesting. Very Anna. interesting. Anna. The Anna. message. What, Elvin? Oh, Fernando. No, uh, on Cuevana. <laughs> on Cuevana. I, I, don't, I don't pay, I don't pay Disney Plus. <laughs> ah, come on. No, they have very good movies. If you have kids, Soul is a great movie. It has a, an amazing message of what you want to be in your life, right? Okay, before we end up the class, uh, I have um, a presentation I found some time ago regarding this topic that has some concepts very good concepts on the topics of pricing because this is a very extensive topic amount of money charged for a product or service determines a firm's market share and profitability produces revenue and we're talking about revenue price this is quizlet i love this page you can find many topics on it you know things that will be very useful for your career on this um, learning curve price, amount of money charged for a product or service. Next, based on buyers' perceptions of value rather than on the seller's cost. In this scenario, price is considered before the marketing program is set. Types of value-based pricing. Good value pricing, value added pricing. We will see them later. So this is the customer value based pricing. Okay. El, um, ¿cómo, se, se, ¿Cómo traducirías pricing en español? Es como fijar el precio, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Okay. El precio. Poner precio. Poner precio. el precio basado en... El valor del cliente, es decir, la percepción del cliente. I read this. Based on buyer's perceptions. Estás en la percepción del cliente of value. Ok. La percepción del valor de tu producto desde la perspectiva del cliente en lugar de, remember, rather. Based on buyer's uh, perceptions of. En lugar de um, el precio del vendedor. El costo del vendedor. O sea, no te importa tu costo, sino el valor que el cliente le va a dar a tu producto. Hmm. The price is considered before the marketing program is set. Se considera el precio antes de empezar el mercado del producto. Y hay dos tipos. Está good value pricing or value added pricing. O, ok. Um, basado en lo que ya vimos, good value pricing. O un precio con un valor agregado. Esa es otra estrategia de, de, de fijar el precio. Me gustó esto. Y esto ya lo vimos en teoría. Price floor. Products cost sets the floor price. If the price, if they price below the cost of the product, there will be no profit. No profits below this price. Es decir, el precio base. Okay? Price floor. Price ceiling sería lo opuesto. Set by customers' perceptions of the value of the product. Otra vez, no demand above this price. Tu precio tope. Hasta dónde puedes fijar el precio. ¿Cómo se hace esto? Yo se los explicaba antes. 
ok, fija un precio doble de tu costo, triple de tu costo para arrancar y luego lo reducís. Luego lo puedes volver a subir un poco, pero tenés que ir um, jugando con el precio hasta que ya tenés un precio fijo. Del cual, si bajas, es muy, bojo, muy baja o ninguna la ganancia que vas a obtener. O si le subes, ya estás perdiendo. Porque no, nadie va a comprar el producto arriba de ese precio. It has some images. Okay. So you can understand this better. It's very nice. And it has 41, 41 concepts that you can use. Cost-based pricing, value-based pricing. Look at this, value-based pricing. Assess customers' needs and value perceptions. Se miden primero las necesidades y la percepción del cliente antes de fijar el precio. Set target price to match customers' perceived value. Okay. Se fija el precio objetivo para hacer un matching, ¿cómo sería eso? Para hacer una, para equipararlo a la percepción del valor del cliente. Terming cost that can be incurred. Eh, determinar el costo de, en el cual se podría incurrir y diseñar el producto para entregar el valor deseado al precio deseado. <risa> Interesante, ¿no? O sea, al final tu meta al fijar un precio debería de ser alcanzar lo que el cliente espera. O sea, si logras lanzar un producto, imagínate con el precio que, que el cliente está dispuesto a pagar y siendo ese precio tu meta, está hecho. ¿Right? Y eso es lo difícil. ¿Cómo tú fijas un precio en realidad? Lo más común que es cuando alguien empieza un negocio. Yo lo estoy haciendo ahorita, de hecho, este estudio. Eh, ¿Cómo fijar el precio de un curso de inglés? Pues me he ido a los comentarios de una academia exageradamente famosa. Me he ido a los comentarios de Facebook de las academias más chafitas. Y así. O sea, vas, vas, ¿cómo se dice? You're... Lo vimos en una clase. Uh, blind. Blind. Okay, yeah. Remember? No, no, no. Estás blind touching. Creo que decía el, el texto que leímos. Blind. Handle. ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo era? Handle. Blind handle. Blind handle. Yes. Estaba blind handling the, the, the scenario. Vas a tienta, como dicen. Viendo mm. cómo, cómo te va. Ok. Good. good. I hope you like the class. Did you like the class? Was it good? Acepto sugerencias, mm -hmm. señores. Ok, por favor, escríbanme si dicen, teacher, mire, no nos hable en español, mire, teacher, uh, no hable tanto cosa técnica o hable un poco más de gramática. O teacher, mire, fíjese que yo ya topé con este tiempo gramatical, dígame qué puedo hacer. Text me, guys, me siento solo todo el día, ah, mentira, pero sí, escriban. <risa> <risa> relacionado, relacionado a la clase, relacionado a la Cariño, clase. Man, <risa> No, de que, hey, vamos a echarnos una estrella, William. No, 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 no. Just text me if you need help with anything. Oye, okay. Alan. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm staying with Heidi tonight. I'm going to do the attendance again. Good night to everybody. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good Alexander night. de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Elvin Arcides y Zabal Martínez. Present. Good night. Good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Sardiano de Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Oh, wait. <laughs> Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Aventura. Present teacher. Good night. Sorry. It's okay. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. 
Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero, Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, William Alexander Ramírez Flores, Present. Good night, William. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Lema Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alan Christopher Abrego Orizuela. Present. See you. See you. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Coyer Albanés. Good night. Good night, Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, bye. Night, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening everybody. Good night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, Wendy. Okay. Mrs. Salguero, how are you? A little bit tired, honestly. One can tell. I, I worked on Sunday. You worked yesterday? What are you doing in a bank on a Sunday? Um, we were trying a new program. Trying About or being trained? No, trying. You Making tr tests, testing. Testing a new software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, okay. What is it about, if I can ask? What's about, um, every time we we buy a foreign currency or sell, or we make cashier checks or uh, open accounts, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, I don't know how to say it. You we, need to convert. We look, no, we look for in, 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 in in a list a database mm -hmm. of the FAC, Office of Foreign Assets Control. There's a list of, of people and, and entities mm -hmm. which we cannot make business with. Oh, that's a blacklist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got kind it. I got of it. a blacklist. I, I have access to that list too. Well, mm -hmm. not not directly, but the system mm -hmm. automatically identifies it's based the global, on global interdict. I don't know, uh, something like that. Yeah, it's based right. on their last name, their names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Man, and there that's... are so many coincidences. So this new program is, is not going to find not too many. Mm. Isn't that dangerous? Not really. Mm. Okay. That sounds it's good. going to make a better search. That's awesome. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess that list is updated frequently, supposedly, right? It's Thank supposed you. to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be updated frequently. How how are you doing with this new currency of Bitcoin and this cryptocurrencies? You getting headaches with it? Not hard. It's not hard. You know there are limits. You can make um, for each transaction only three hundred and sixty five dollars. Oh, really? Four thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Up, up to limit. how much a month? Four thousand. 4,000 is the limit a month, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not in one single transaction. It has to be up to 365 per day. Per transaction. Per transaction, I'm sorry. And if you need, if, if you need a higher amount, you can ask the bank for permission. And you, need you can to justify. only make, yeah, and only certain transactions. For example, pay bills, uh, deposit on your account, Mm -hmm. But you cannot withdraw bitcoins and I give you dollars because we're not a, we're a bank. We are not a, an, exchange, it, a uh, exchange. an exchange house. Yeah, exactly. Stock exchange mm -hmm. house, yeah. So Man. it's not too complicated as it sounds. Wow. Not really. Yeah, I mean, eventually they cannot force the, the bank institutions to um, like, I mean, demand this, the bank institutions to, to accept the, the currency. I mean, that, that's impossible. Oh my God, it's, it's going to be- a Not huge. directly, but if, if, for example, entities start paying salaries in Bitcoins, eventually we're going to have yes. to increase the level of transaction. Mm -hmm. Wow. I guess there's people already studying these scenarios, these scenarios on, on, your, on your end, right? 
Okay. Yeah. So how's everything going with the kids and then the planning of the travel? Everything's going great. The kids are at home and my, my husband is coming until December. Oh my God, Christmas. It gets December, crazy. 30, December 31. Just until December 31st, really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's not going to be here for Christmas Eve. No, 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 I don't think so. Why don't you go with the kids? Because I have to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, your kids. job. You're going to have vacations? Mm -hmm. I had vacations on June and he came home. No, but during this it's season, the, during this season, the Christmas season, do you have um, vacation? Oh, no, 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 no. No? Oh, mm -hmm. that's bad. I had some sort of vacation, you know, I stopped teaching, but I continue working in the call center <laughs> as well. But it is what it is. You have to do a living, right? Okay. Um, what have you felt during all this time that is difficult for you with this language? Has come across your mind and like get stuck with this. I think I need to speak more because I know I can write and I can think. Well, my speaks in English almost every time, almost all the time. You're doing it. And and but I have to try. I have to practice a lot more. Maybe read more. That's what I was about to suggest you. Try mm -hmm. to read something like, I don't know, do you like Paulo Coelho? And I do, but I try to read news, financial news. Oh, of course. Yes, English. something related uh -huh. to your business. Are they exactly. planning to, are they planning to help you move into another bank in the States? Man, that oh, would be no, awesome. I was, about, I was about when we were city. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. City, 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 yeah. But well, I mean, with your resume at this point, I'm sure if you mm. build it, if you build a good resume, I'm sure you will find a job in a bank over there. I'm, I'm sure I can't do it. Yeah, even if you start from mm -hmm. the bottom, I mean. I know, I know. I wouldn't mind to start all over again. You can do it, you can do it. But language will be very important. Yeah, no. And I know. And te technical. I, have, I need to have to practice. Mm -hmm. Technical language. That's true. Mm. But you know, when we were city back, you know, uh, the language is the same here in El Salvador, in the U.S., in in any country, is the same, mm -hmm. the same terms they use. So it helps a lot. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's let's talk about managing. Have you mm -hmm. heard about the one thing? Which thing? No, that's the name of the what? book. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I think I told you once before, the one thing, Gary Keller. Mm, I don't remember. I'll recommend you that book. The really? One Thing. The One Thing by Gary Keller. G-A-R-Y-K-E-L-L-E-R. -E -E I read that book twice already and I'm still reading it again in English. You can download it from Amazon. It's like six dollars or seven, and download the uh, Kindle app. The Kindle app from Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can download books and digital, and it's amazing. I mean, that book regarding managing helps you um, putting things first, and how oh, and how great leaders lead. How do great leaders lead? I guess you heard that that one. Yeah, it's it's these two books are for me as a manager was an amazing experience. Reading a book and applying it in real life scenarios, th that was like my plus. You know, one day mm -hmm. I was so thrilled about reading this book. I was in Citrams. I was living alone when I developed my mm -hmm. skills as manager. I was driving. I mean, I was just watching people. And then I started reading the book and I found a spot on the book that said that you have to put things on its right, on its right place. And I had under my command 17 teachers, right? So it was like, boom, I have to go and put these guys in order 
you know, who's good, who's kind of good, and who's really good. So advanced, intermediate, basic. Yeah, and, you cannot treat them the same. And I have to let go like seven teachers. I, I absolutely, to, yeah. It's not you easy. Know, I, have, I have 30 people in my branch, and every single person has different way of thinking. So their mindset. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck with that. And, <laughs> and yeah, don't really read that book. But the one thing is it. like, yeah, if you have any book to recommend me, I, I will appreciate it. But right now, I'm, I'm just reading Polo Coelho again, um, The Alchemist. Ah, I love that story. Mm -hmm. I love that story. It's, it's really good. And in English, it's even better. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. Heidi, I'm here to help you. If okay. you have any questions, if you need any help with uh -huh, anything, just let really, me know. I really enjoy, I really enjoy the class. Thank, thank you. Me. Thank you. If you Sometimes have any. Her, on, on Friday, I couldn't come because I was, I had a big headache. Oh. Because uh, uh, one of, uh, of the sales I, I hired, uh, her first, at first, her, her husband got COVID. And then she got COVID mm -hmm. and then he came to work and I was the whole afternoon with her and okay. she didn't say anything. You got upset. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you got COVID? No, 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 no. no I don't. <laughs> I but but so. you, you got vaccinated already. Yeah, both times, both, both times. Even both. though, you know, don't yeah. trust it. You just wear your mask. That's very important. Yeah. Hey, take care. Okay. Um, Speak to see Thank you, you more often. Your patience. <laughs> oh, no, I'm here to help you. Take care. Good night. Good night.